you think the Raiders are going to beat the Bears? If you're saying, yeah, I, I do think that, like this video right now. If the Bears are going to lose to the Oakland Raiders, I want you to like this video. The Raiders are going to London, and the Bears, well, they got a lot of stuff going on, and I have five storylines that I want you guys to pay attention to all week. So if the Raiders beat the Bears, like this video right now. Now, here's what we're going to get into. My first storyline that I want to talk about, I don't even really even know if it's a storyline, but people are talking about it, of course. This is the Khalil Mack game. When Khalil Mack was asked about this game, that's the one I'm looking forward to. We know that he was drafted by the Raiders in 2014, traded in 2018. But here's the thing. What the heck do you expect Khalil Mack to say? I, I don't care who you are. If you're going up against your old team, your old friends, you're going to be motivated. And Khalil Mack should be motivated, motivated in this game. The easiest way, though, to shut up the Bears, and I don't want to say shut up Mack because Mack's actually been very respectful to like Derek Carr and the Raiders organization since he's left. But the easiest way to get Khalil Mack off his game is by pounding the rock with Josh Jacobs. What was a great way that we got Von Miller off of Derek Carr? We ran the ball 23 times with Josh Jacobs. And Josh Jacobs has been pretty freaking good this year. 62 carries, five yards per carry, the two touchdowns, sure. They came all in week one. We need to be able to get Josh Jacobs a little bit more involved in the passing game. He had two receptions this past week. So hopefully, Josh, you're going to be the main focal point in this game. And if he has a good game, hopefully his first 100 career, hopefully his first 100 rushing yard game of his career, much more difficult to say than what that needed to be. I think we're going to end up winning this game. So the ticket giveaway, depending on when you're watching this, is about to happen here. Raiders vs. Lions ticket giveaway. If you're not already entered to win, the easy way that you can do it is by giving me a follow on Instagram right now at MitchellRens365. I will be announcing the winner here in a little bit. So depending on when you watch this video, Raiders vs. Lions ticket giveaway. Follow me on Instagram at MitchellRens365 and you're going to be entered. Literally, you only have a few more minutes to do it. So make sure you get there. One of the biggest storylines that I want you guys to watch for, are the Bears going to be without Roquan Smith? So... I kind of stumbled across this. He's out indefinitely. According to uh, reports, he's dealing with a personal issue. Now, the media, from what it sounds like, might be overblowing this a little bit because when you talk to some Bears players inside the locker room, they don't really seem to be too worried about it. But he didn't play in week four versus the Vikings, and he was a late scratch. Like, literally 20 minutes before the game, he was like, no, I'm not playing. So the report is that Smith had not been acting like himself around the team facilities for the past week. It's kind of weird. Overall, it's kind of a weird thing. But if Roquan Smith is unable to play, it's a huge loss. I mean, this is what he did his rookie year. He was drafted eighth overall for a reason. I mean, 121 tackles as a rookie. That's insane. Five pass breakups, one interception. And then look at his stats in 2019. 24 tackles, one tackle for a loss. Ready for this math? That's an average of eight tackles per game. He's played in only three. I know, I'm getting better. It's because of the action network. Help getting better with my money. But Roquan Smith not playing in this game is a big reason why the original line was Raiders at seven point underdogs, and now they're five and a half point underdogs. So the over under in this game is 40 points. But who's gonna win? Type R for Raiders or type B for Bears? The fact that the Raiders are five and a half point underdogs in a game where they're not going to have Roquan Smith. In a game where, you know, their quarterback, which you'll see here in a little bit, it's not going to be Mitchell Trubisky. I'm telling you right now, this is going to be one of those games where I'm not going to say the Raiders are going to outright win, but I think they're going to be able to cover five and a half. I think the Bears aren't a talented enough offense to be able to put up enough points where they're going to win by more than five and a half points. So if you think the Raiders are going to win this football game, and I see a bunch of R's in the comments section, go to BetDSI. Go to chatsports.com slash bet. Take a screenshot that you've signed up with BetDSI, hit me up on IG or Twitter, and I'm going to get you a shirt from Raider Nation Store. When you go there, put down 50 bucks, you'll get 60 for free. You can put down $100, get 120 for free. But when you do, use the promo code Raiders120. We have the best deal out there in the world right now. Please, Raider Nation, use it. Chatsports.com slash bet. Next storyline to watch. Matt Nagy, he knows the Raiders very, very well. So this is his second year as the Bears head coach, right? 
And now you know Matt Nagy because he spent some time with the Kansas City Chiefs. So he was the quarterback coach from 2013 to 2015. Then he was the OC from 2016 to 2017. The note here that I'm making are the Raiders are 2-8 and eight versus the Chiefs with Nagy. Now, I'm not saying the Chiefs only won because of Matt Nagy. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying, though, is that X's and O's, okay, is a big part of football. And the fact that Matt Nagy knows the Raiders very well, I actually think gives the Bears a little bit of an advantage in that regard. Derek Carr has never played against the Bears. The fact that Matt Nagy knows this Raiders team, I do think actually gives the Bears a little bit, just a little bit, of an advantage. So that's why I said the fact that Matt Nagy knows the Raiders, that's a storyline to watch here in this game. So here's the spread from Bet DSI. The Raiders, five and a half point underdogs. The over-under is 40. So Bet DSI is predicting a very low scoring game. I don't want to say I don't care about Bet DSI. They keep the lights on here. But don't tell them I care more about what you guys think. So let me know in the comments section what you predict this Raiders score to be. All right, five and a half. Like, I'm seeing 20 to 16, 19 to 13, 27 to 10. Somebody said F the Bears. I'm surprised I haven't seen one like 100 to a zero because just about every week I ask for the score, I get a crazy score prediction, 100 to zero. Now, here's the thing. That's not a smart pick. What is smart is trusting the action network. Go to chatsports.com slash deal and get 40% off. Live odds and expert picks, 40% off, okay? It's $5.99, yeah, $5.99. The Ashton Network, they hooked us up. So if you're on BetDSI, if you're on my bookie, go to chatsports.com slash deal. Get experts to help you make better, smarter picks. Put some extra money in your pocket, okay? That's all I'm trying to do is put extra money in your pocket. Is Mitchell Trubisky out versus the Raiders? Yeah, it's uh, looking that way. So an MRI showed he dislocated his left shoulder, and he's got a slight labrum tear. If you didn't see, he was injured in week four against the Vikings, and uh, kind of just somebody landed on his shoulder pretty awkwardly. It did not look good. I guess good news for Mitchell Trubisky here is he doesn't need surgery, and he's going to travel to London. And the reason why I'm giving you guys all these updates on Bears players, you know, keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer, the Bears, they're the enemy this week. Mitchell Trubisky, though, he really hasn't been all that good, right? I mean, 588 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions. I almost want to make the argument <laughs> that the Bears are a better football team without Mitchell Trubisky because Chase Daniel, for what it's worth, came in against a very good defense and looked good. Yeah, the yards per attempt isn't high, he was 22 of 30 for 195 yards and a touchdown, no interceptions. That's the big thing here. But, but, now the Raiders have at least an extra game to be able to prep for Chase Daniel. And I mean, if you're a backup, I would imagine that you're not as good. So hopefully the Raiders have an advantage there. So who's the better quarterback? Derek Carr or Mitch Trubisky? The reason why I'm putting this in here is because I better see a whole bunch of freaking C's. Derek Carr has got his ups and his downs. But if you can honestly look me in the eyes and tell me that you think Mitchell Trubisky is a better quarterback than Derek Carr, I'm going to question you a little bit. I shouldn't even say a little bit, a lot of it. Because if you can tell me that Mitchell Trubisky on that Bears team, which is a very good team, is a better quarterback than Derek Carr, <laughs> you're putting some weird shit in your drink. So let me know in the comments section. I see a lot of C's in the comments which is good. Very happy. Halo, It's Burger, Gabe, Cabrera. Appreciate you all watching on YouTube. Who's better quarterback, Carr or Trubisky? And if you're saying Carr, it's probably because you're a diehard Raider fan, and I only want Raider fans to watch our show. Get us to 30K subscribers. Once we get there, we're going to do another ticket giveaway. Currently at 26,914. And I will give a shout-out to some of our awesome subscribers here. So I got Xavier, uh, Jordan, Rob, Cali Raider, Philip Trotter, you guys are some of my most loyal watchers. I see you all the time commenting. So what I want you five to do is take that link, youtube.com slash Raiders Support, and send it to people. I also want to give a special shout-out to some people on Instagram. Miguel, OG, Raider Ray, Edward, uh, The Real Raider. I think I got that right. And then Nathan Hernandez. I appreciate you guys always interacting with me on Instagram. The recent follow. Much love to y'all. And then some top Facebook fans, right? The reason why I love my shows, we are the most interactive YouTube, Facebook channel that there is for Raiders content. 
and it's because of people like Hugo, Harry, Bobby, Henry, Ivory. And if you want to become a top Facebook fan, you got to like, comment as much as you can, and then also click that share button. Currently, not enough shares on that video, so make sure you guys click share, get those up, become a top Facebook fan. The last storyline that I really want to look at, and I'm hoping this one changes. The Raiders are winless in London. Sure, they've only played twice, but they're 0-2. The Bears, on the other hand, they're 1-0. The fact that the Raiders are five and a half point underdogs is why I'm telling you, go bet on the Raiders at Bet DSI. Go do it. The fact that they're not going to have their starting quarterback, Mitchell Trubisky. The fact that Roquan Smith might not play. These are reasons why I think that you should go bet on the Raiders being five and a half point underdogs. And here's the other thing that we kind of allured to. The Raiders, they arrived on Tuesday. The Bears, they're not showing up until Thursday. So in 2014, bad loss. 2018, the Raiders got waxed 27 to 3. And uh, I don't know for how many of you have traveled, let's say, but the Raiders wanted to show up on a Friday for a Sunday game. And then, yeah, it looked like the jet lag was hitting them real hard. So what did John do? He's like, man, we got to make a change here. So the fact that now the Raiders showed up on Tuesday, the Bears, they're going to be the team that shows up a little bit later. Fingers crossed that the Raiders can end up winning this game because if the Raiders win this game, against the Bears, that puts them at 3-2, and two, going into the bye. That's a big, big win for this Raiders team, plus a team filled with a whole bunch of injuries. It allows them to kind of rest up a little bit and get ready because then they got a full gauntlet of a schedule against the Packers, against the Texans, and then going up against the Lions. Like this video, though, if the Raiders will beat the Bears. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it baby and if you haven't already subscribe right here i'm giving you chucky heads news rumors raider nation rumors and look at this i'm making your life easier check out my next video thanks for watching and go raiders